for tuning in to Turn to the Stars. My name is Andrea Klim, and I am an astrological counselor and a shamanic practitioner from the local area. And I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone who's watching and watches Turn to the Stars every week. We're really, uh, really pleased to have your support and, uh, you know, watching us every week and staying tuned in to what the stars are doing and our, you know, our network that, you know, supports us. So I just want to say a big thank you. Happy New Year. And before we get started with today's show, I do want to let everybody know uh, about a really exciting upcoming event that we have planned for January 21st. That's Saturday, January 21st. Um, that's our first holistic psychic fair of this year at the yard restaurant and we have this growing number of different types of readings and and uh, vendors that are going to be participating if you look on www.turntothestars.com you can see that list um, so we hope you're going to mark your calendar and come see us lots of new faces this time and uh, old faces as well so um, Please mark your calendar. We hope to see you there. We're going to look for you there anyway. So uh, a big, big, exciting uh, theme that we're going to talk about today, which is really interesting, you know, being that we're in 2012, that year where everybody's been talking about uh, Peter Shampoo is coming back on the show today. Welcome, Peter. Yeah, thanks, Andrea. It's always, it's always good to speak with you and your audience. It's always fruitful. Uh, I, I must say, it, it, my, my relationship with Turn to the Stars has really expanded my whole uh, uh, understanding of these earth rings that have come out, come out with, so thank you very much. Uh, it's, been, it's been a great collaboration over the years. You thought the awesome. leaden winter it, it is great would bring you down forever, his, uh, but you rode upon a steamer to the violence of the sun. Planning is in regards to the uh, the solar flares or the sun flares of 2012. And as as you know from watching past shows, Peter is a geographer, and uh, so he studies the you know the the Earth and and the patterns of the Earth. And he's a, a great um, information place you know a place to get information and you can see on the screen how you can contact him if you want to talk to him personally but for today we're going to talk about the sun flares of 2012 and peter why why um why is this something you know one of the things that i think about very uh important is what effect do these sun flares have on us Well, uh, the sun flares, they, they, just a little bit of information around them, they occur every 11 years, and it's, a, it's called a solar maximum. And, uh, and the, uh, why we have sun flares is because the sun reverses its magnetism once every 11 years. And when it, when it adjusts to this different polarity, uh, it sends off these coronal mass ejections or sun flares, which are electrical by electrical discharge, a magnetic discharge that uh, affects the magnetic field of our Earth, and and, and it affects the magnetic field of humans. Uh, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. It, it, as as we uh, ha have evolved over the centuries, I feel that these uh, this in flooding of light has uh, really advanced uh, our uh, intelligence, our, our growth as, as a species. And uh, <clears throat> so the, the, the sun flares can be uh, met with some trepidation uh, in that uh, quite often uh, during these, these cycles, uh, we are uh, hit with earthquakes and tornadoes and hurricanes uh, with a greater incidence of frequency. Or of frequency. And, and so these, um, these solar flares that we get also do the same thing to us internally. We have these uh, uh, hurricanes and tornadoes that, that, that affect our own magnetic field. Uh, because we are the this kind of uh, we are a fractal exp expression. We are uh, when I say fractality, it's it's a fern, if you will, the smallest fern, the smallest bit of a fern leaf looks like the entire leaf itself. Well, this 
This fractal is this uh, this radiance that comes out of the sun that's replicated in us as people and beings, and we, we find these. Uh, we have a series of slides I'm showing today that I uh, you know love my collages uh, and. Uh, yeah, we, we ring, do. <laughs> uh, number five, uh, rings of plenty. We uh, we have all these this this signature ring, this Earth ring. Now it's also implicit in our own bodies, and it's implicit to the sun. It's implicit to Stonehenge and the Mayan calendars and our in the crust of our Earth, which shows the same patterns within it. Our galaxy has this the same pattern, as do the human eye and DNA and. So it's it, when the sun goes through this thing, this when when it, when it flips its its polarity, we have to adjust our own polarity, and and quite often it, it comes forward with with uh, wars and revolutions because it's everybody's polarity against everybody else's polarity, and it all just you know kind of breaks down socially. There's a lot of unrest, and you know we're seeing that uh, you know coming on early with uh, with the Arab Spring last year. Yeah. And we'll probably see more of that coming on, more uh, kind of revolutionary fervor as, uh, you know, uh, people get inflamed by the sun and, so uh, and get strong in heart and, and start to, uh, you know, express themselves on their heart levels. So it sounds like there's this big connection between what the sun flares and our DNA. Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, Somehow I think light affects DNA. Uh you know, we go through these grand cycles where uh, we're traveling through the galaxy, and and uh, as we travel, we're going through these different bandings of, of lesser and greater amount of of light, uh, photonic, you know, uh, neighborhood, if you will, the the light quotient in a neighborhood, or or uh, you know, as we go through the galaxy, we're hit with different. Um, you know, we're hit with with interstellar space weather, cosmic rays, and that's all affecting our sun, and the sun's affecting us. We're all part of this same breathing uh, uh, radiance. Uh, so, uh, where am I going with this? I get too, a little too far out. Bring me back to Earth, yeah, well, Andrea, it, please. Well, well, it sounds to me like what you're describing with these sun flares is that you know they're sort of you know when I think of sun flares, I, I see these these outbursts of fire coming off the sun and that's got to affect us in some way it's it's our uh it's where we we get our light from it's where we get our warmth from it's where you know the sun in astrology is is what uh really influences our will our drive it gives us light it gives us health it gives us well-being so if you've got you know what i'm hearing from what you're saying is sunflower uh, sun flares are almost like spikes of, of fire coming off the sun so we've got to feel some type of effect from that and i you know when I listen to you, I, I uh, um, associate that with the planet Uranus being in this fire sign Aries, where, which is uh, very, uh, let, let's put it this way, it can be a very combative energy, a very fiery energy, but it makes us become much more aware of who we are in our, in our process, you know, and our life. Very transformative. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it, it sparks some stuff very deep inside us. Uh, it facilitates change. It, uh, it, it it promotes growth. I, the uh, you know, I, I think it's it, it does affect our DNA. It's a very deep thing. You know, we have a relationship with the sun in that our DNA uh, is you know if we, if we were to put together aggregate length of our entire DNA of the average human, it's 12.5 billion miles of the stuff. And that that matches the length, the 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 radius at which the sun uh, projects its light uh, uh, before it, it's stopped by interstellar space at its heliosphere. So the heliosphere is, you know, thirteen, uh, twenty-six thousand, uh, what, 